So after showing you guys that awesome video, it would just be cruel of me to not let you guys know how it was done. Actually, the video was just being played backwards. In real life, I was just dropping the cards, but when playing it backwards, it looks like I'm picking them up with some magic force. So let's get started on learning on how to create this effect. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play any video backwards. So to get started, first of all, you're going to need a program. It's a free program. You don't have to pay for it, but you're still going to have to download a program. The program is called Avidmux. Um, it's kind of hard to pronounce, but that's the program name. That's A V I D E M U X, and you can download it from avidmux.org. Now, after you have downloaded the program, it's just going to be a simple installation. After you have downloaded the program, you want to open it up. So let's open it up real quick. And once you have opened it up, it should look like this. Now, at first glance, it might look a little, um, a little high tech, a little com complicated, but it actually really isn't that hard to use. You want to go to File, Open, and just open the the video that you just uh, that you just shot. Now, this video, you have to be pretending like you have to. First of all, you have to know that you're going to be playing it backwards. So all your actions that you're doing, you have to make sure that when you do those actions, it's going to be like. You have, you have to keep in mind that you're going to be playing the video backwards. So if that didn't make sense, just watch the video that I made. So it starts off with me just looking up at the camera. And I smile a little, and I just drop the cards from my hands. Now when playing it backwards, it's going to look like that I'm actually picking up the cards. But you have to always keep in mind that it's going to be playing backwards. So every action that you do, try and make it look as real as you can. So to start the effect, you want to look under this video tab and just choose what type of video you want. The first one we'll do for now, that's MPEG. And then you want to press configure. Configure it to your likings. In this case, I'm just going to leave it to the default settings. And then this is the most important part. You want to press filters. Make sure you have the transform tab selected and double click on the reverse filter. And that's going to move it up here to the active filters. And once it's there, all you have to do is press close. And then you want to also configure the audio to your liking. So I'm just going to change it to MP3. Um, just press configure to configure it to however you like. And also keep in mind that the audio is going to be playing backwards too. And the format, this is just the video format that you, that you want to render the video to when it's done. I'm going to leave it under AVI. Now let's go ahead and press file save project as and I'm gonna save it in my documents under test and just press save just wait for it and it should just start um, just loading it up on um, rendering the video file so you want to just wait um, it's at 40% right now so it shouldn't take too long And it says done. File test has been successfully saved. And you want to just press OK. And I'm going to head into my documents and open up that file and see what we came up with. So here it is file test. Double click. Now I might ask you the program you want to open it with. Just choose any program that could open a video file. Double click and let's just wait for it. Okay, and as you can see, we just played it backwards, and it looked like I just picked up the cards. And it's really just as simple as that, nothing too complicated, just a couple steps to get the final result. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial, and I hope it helped you out in one way or another. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.